Hello and welcome to how do I build a Power BI dashboard in Microsoft Dynamics NIV 2015. My name is Steven Renders. I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer for Microsoft Dynamics NIV and I have created this video for you in collaboration with Microsoft and Platan a Microsoft Dynamics Solutions Training Center in Belgium. At the end of this video, you will understand how to build a Power BI dashboard in Microsoft Dynamics NIV 2015. The objective of this video is to show how to build a Power BI dashboard in Microsoft Dynamics NIV 2015. This is actually part two of the video, which will continue after part one, where we prepared the data model in Microsoft Power Pivot. We will do this in three steps. In step one, we will create a dashboard in the Power View with charts for the sales amount by country, the quantity by product and sales by date. In step two, we will then create a Power BI site in Office 365. And in step three, we will optimize the sales dashboard to implement Q&A. Let's get started with the first step and see how we can create a dashboard in the Power View with the charts for sales amount by country, quantity by product and sales by date. So uh, here we are in uh, Power Pivot, where we have uh, prepared our uh, data model. And I am going to uh, close uh, Power Pivot. And the next thing that I'm going to do in Excel is I am actually going to the Insert menu and I'm going to uh, insert a uh, Power View uh, sheet. The Power Sheet is uh, right here. I'm just going to uh, provide, uh, provide uh, a title, uh, Sales dashboard and uh, as we can see here on the right side uh, we have our power view fields and we have the results uh, of the data model that we created in uh, power pivot and we can see our customers dates products sales invoice lines and uh, sales people so we are here in actually our power view uh, dashboard and we would like to create a chart by making use of the sales by uh, country and uh, in order not to show the country code but the country name, I have uh, added uh, uh, or made a modification in the data sets. I've added actually a list of countries. How did I do that? Well, basically I went here into the web services page of NAV. I added the countries or regions uh, page and I also published it as an Odata web service. Then I went into uh, Power Pivot. Uh, so basically I went here into uh, Power Pivot and I updated the data model and I actually added uh, the uh, countries uh, as a data web service. And if you have a look here in the data diagram, uh, what I've also done is I have linked uh, the uh, countries with the uh, customers. So I created actually here uh, a table relationship. After we close uh, Power Pivot, uh, the data model is automatically updated and I can start by creating a chart. How can we do that? Well, I'm going to fetch the information that I would like to have visualized. So I'm going to select here the name uh, of the uh, country. And uh, then, as we can see here, a data set is going to be built. Uh, next, I'm going to my uh, sales invoice line. And I am uh, going to select, uh, for example, the amount, uh, which will then be reflected here in my data model. Now, I don't want to see this uh, textual uh, data. So what am I going uh, to do? I am going to select here uh, to create a, a column uh, chart. We have the choice between uh, different uh, types of uh, charts. I'm just going to select here a column, make it a little bit uh, wider. So as we can see, uh, we have already our uh, data available. Uh, what we can also see is that it's uh, sorting by uh, name of the country and I would like to have it sorted by amount and I would like this to uh, be uh, descending. So this is basically how I am going to create this uh, uh, chart and we can see here the sales by uh, country. Let's uh, continue in the PowerView dashboard and add a chart where we can see product or product group by uh, quantity. So uh, in uh, Power uh, Pivot, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go here to the product data set. I'm going to select the product group uh, quota. And then I am going to the sales invoice line data set and I'm going to look for my uh, quantity. I'm just going to have to go up a little bit. Voila, here is my uh, quantity. 
I'm seeing here two uh, product groups, but what we can also do, for example, is here uh, select one of the fields and then say, okay, I would like to also see the items without any uh, data. Then I am uh, going to here to uh, select uh, the data and I'm going to create uh, a bar chart. In this type it's going to be a vertical uh, bar chart. I'm also going to voila here so sort and filter on the uh, quantity and I'm going to do it uh, descending. I'm going to make this a little bit uh, bigger and there we have uh, our second uh, chart. Now we can add uh, the third one, which is going to be the sales on a date timeline. Now in the dashboard, I'm going to my uh, date table. And in the date uh, table, I have the choice between uh, multiple types of dates. I'm going to select uh, the full date. And uh, for the full date, what I would like to see is also the amount coming from the sales invoice line. Let me select uh, this one and then I am going to convert it into a, a line uh, chart in which we will now be able to uh, visualize uh, what happened in the period of time uh, regarding the sales amounts here on a uh, line. Next, I'm going to add some uh, filters to the report. I will go here to the sales uh, people. I'm going to select the name of the salesperson. I'm just going to drag it here into the uh, filters. So now we have our uh, chart. And in the chart, I'm able to use here uh, the filters. I'm going to filter here on John Roberts. And we can see here that uh, all of the three uh, are updated uh, immediately. If I'm going to select uh, Debra here, uh, we can see that uh, there weren't much uh, sales uh, for uh, Debra in this uh, period. Furthermore, what I can also do is I can select, for example, here my product group code. I can click on it and I can see the other charts immediately uh, updating. Uh, I can do the same thing, for example, I'm going to select here a country and then I can see uh, the data uh, which is being uh, updated in real time. So uh, all of these charts are connected and I can now start analyzing and slicing and dicing the information. In step one, we had a look at uh, how to create the sales dashboard in uh, PowerView. Let's see now how we can create a Power BI site in Officer 365. First, I am going to uh, save my uh, workbook and I'm going to save it, for example, here on my uh, desktop. I'm going to call it my uh, sales dashboard uh, workbook. Yes, I would like to replace it and I'm uh, going to uh, close it. Next, I'm going to open my uh, browser and I'm going to go to the Microsoft uh, Power BI website. Basically, I'm going to log in to my Office 365 uh, environment. I'm just going to do that right now. I'm uh, logging in. Voila. And here in Office 365, I have uh, Power uh, BI. And what I've also done here in uh, Office 365, I have created here a new uh, site. It's actually called a, a team uh, site. And in this team site, what we can do right now is we can basically upload the uh, Excel file, uh, which I've placed on my uh, desktop. It's a sales dashboard. So I'm just going to uh, open and upload the Excel file. So it is now uh, uploaded. It's called the sales uh, dashboard and uh, let's have a look at it. Our document has been uh, uploaded and uh, we can see it here. I can select it and it will open uh, in uh, Office 365 uh, here in my uh, team site. So by using and creating this uh, team site, I have the capability of having a look, of course, at the results uh, using the information to uh, analyze the data from my uh, business. But uh, what I can also do is I can uh, share the information with my uh, colleagues uh, who I um, can also uh, invite to uh, be a part of this uh, site. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, just going to close uh, the uh, Excel file. So we are back at our site here. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to click here uh, on the uh, Power BI uh, button, which is then going to load all of my uh, SharePoint uh, documents, uh, the ones that I am uh, frequently uh, using. 
uh, and I can have a look for example and I'm going to select my sales uh, dashboard and I'm going to make it uh, enabled in Power BI for Officer 365. So the report is now enabled and I'm going to uh, open it. Once it has been enabled in uh, Power BI uh, I can make use of its uh, full capabilities just like I, do, I can do in uh, Microsoft uh, Office uh, uh, Excel. In uh, step two we had a look at uh, how to create a Power BI site in Office 365 where we uploaded and enabled our dashboard in uh, Microsoft uh, Power BI for Office 365. Now in uh, step three uh, we are going to uh, optimize our dashboard. We are going to implement and add synonyms to tables and uh, columns. So uh, we are ready to then implement uh, Q&A and that will enable us uh, to ask some uh, questions and get back some uh, answers from uh, Power BI. So in uh, Office 365 I'm going to go back to my site. So I'm back in my uh, team site. From within my team site I'm going to select uh, Power BI. And then uh, in a few seconds, it's going to load all of my documents from my SharePoint library. I can see my sales dashboard. I can click here on the three dots. I can favorite my dashboard. And what I can also do is, for example, I can add it to Q and uh, A. Once it has been added uh, to uh, Q&A, what I can do next is I can ask uh, a question. So I'm going to go to uh, Q&A. And I'm going to ask a question. Now uh, we can actually ask a question in our uh, natural uh, language. So for example, show uh, customers and then I'm going to say by city. And uh, as soon as I'm uh, typing, I can see my uh, results. I can see my customers by uh, city. Uh, I can see it here in a table layout. I can also uh, create it here in a card layout and even show the information on a map. Now let's uh, change uh, the question. Uh, show the sales uh, people. As you can see here, there is an inline uh, autocomplete, which I can just uh, select. And the information is also uh, updated uh, in real time. Here we have the salespeople and then I can sort them according to commission, commission uh, percentage and voila. I can see them here immediately displayed in a uh, bar chart. Let's ask another uh, question. For example, uh, I am interested in the quantity and uh, I can immediately start typing in the word quantity. I can see, for example, show the sales invoice line and their uh, quantity. I can see the quantity by sell to customer number. Uh, there are actually lots of uh, variations and uh, possibilities and I have uh, the uh, capability now of just asking a question and immediately getting back uh, the answer from my data set. So uh, we have seen in uh, step three how we can uh, optimize our uh, dashboard by, for example, implementing a Q&A in a Power BI so we can ask uh, questions. Something else that uh, we could do is, for example, also add uh, synonyms. And for this, we have to actually use and go back to a uh, Power Pivot where we can go into the advanced mode and we can add some uh, synonyms. Let's have a look again at uh, the three steps. In uh, step one, we created a dashboard in a power view where we created uh, charts to uh, visualize the sales by country, uh, the quantity by product and the sales by date. Then in step two, we created a Power BI site in uh, Office 365, where I introduced uh, the Power BI in Office 365 and we uploaded the sales dashboard in a Power BI site. Then in step three, we optimized our sales dashboard by uh, adding it into Power BI and by implementing or optimizing uh, for uh, Q&A. And we had the possibility to ask uh, questions and get back answers in our own uh, language. So this uh, briefly explains how to create a uh, Power BI uh, dashboard in Office 365. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and that you learned something. And uh, I hope to see you again in one of the other titles of the How Do I series for Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015.